common platform is the new case management system for criminal courts. It's currently rolling out to Crown and Magistrates Courts across England and Wales. Defence professionals need to register for and activate a Common Platform account before they can attend hearings at a court which is using Common Platform. In this video, we will show you how to access your client's case summary and the initial details of the prosecution case, or IDPC, how to gain full access to case details by associating with the case, which marks you as the defence organisation on the record, this excludes other firms from accessing the case details and informs the legal aid agency that you are representing the defendant. It's necessary for receiving payment of legal aid fees. How to view and upload case materials in the Magistrates Court. How to check in for hearings on the day. How to get help and support. In the Magistrates Court, on Common Platform Cases, this is the system you will use to view case materials. In the Crown Court, for the time being you will carry on using the Digital Case System, or DCS, to access case materials for both exhibit and common platform cases. Common platform cases are identified by the unique reference number, or URN, which you may be familiar with from police documents. You will see these URNs appear in the published court lists of both the Magistrates Court and the Crown Court. To log in to Common Platform, you will need to have your registered mobile phone with you. You will need to use the Authenticator app you downloaded as part of the registration process and follow the instructions on screen. To find a case, on the home screen, click on Find Case. Indicate whether you are searching for an individual person or for a company. For an individual, you will need to enter the case reference, first name, last name and date of birth. Common Platform uses the unique reference number or URN as the case reference for a police case. If you do not know the case reference, you can get it from the public list on the day of the hearing, the charge sheet at the police station, or by calling the Courts and Tribunals Service Centre. Or, finally, you can get it from your local CPS contact. Once you have found the case you're looking for, you need to make a declaration that you have a legitimate right to access the case information. Read the declaration. Tick the box to confirm that you have been instructed or appointed to access the case and represent the defendant. You can see if another firm has already viewed the initial details of the prosecution case or IDPC. There is a statement at the bottom of the page to confirm this. Click on I confirm continue to case summary. After you've submitted your declaration, you will see the basic case summary screen titled Case at a Glance. You can access the IDPC from this screen if it is available. Click on the link to open the IDPC as a PDF document. If you're a duty solicitor, the IDPC may be enough for you to manage the case. However, if you need to upload case material, such as a PET form, you will need to associate with the case to access the full details. Please note, until an organisation or firm is associated with the case, other firms will also have access to the IDPC. To associate with the case, click on Access Full Case or the tab marked Access at the top of the screen. Association is the process which allows you to mark yourself as the defence professional representing a defendant at the exclusion of others, in other words, the firm on record. It informs the legal aid agency that you're representing the defendant. It's necessary for receiving payment of legal aid fees. Once you have associated your firm with a case, this information will automatically be passed to the legal aid agency. 
This can be done before legal aid is granted. You will need to quote the URN as the case reference in any correspondence with the legal aid agency. If legal aid has already been granted, you will be automatically associated with the defendant and you will not need to complete the association process. Common Platform will be automatically updated with the outcome of the decision and you will have access to the full case material. In the Magistrates Court, associating with a case means you will also receive automatic notifications when the Crown Prosecution Service uploads a document. You will need to log in to Common Platform to view it. In the Magistrates Court, you will find any document submitted by the Crown Prosecution Service in the Case Materials section of Common Platform for the relevant case. To associate with the case and access the full case materials, indicate the nature of your representation by clicking on the appropriate option. Duty solicitors can select Court Appointed if they do not feel they will be representing the defendant after the hearing. They can choose Representation Order Applied For if they feel they may be giving onward representation. Either selection will allow you to view the full case details and upload case materials such as the PET form. In a case with more than one defendant, you will need to associate with each defendant your firm is representing. To confirm your selection, click on I understand, access the case. This will exclude all other firms from accessing this case. The screen will show that you are the instructed defence organisation and on the record. When you have associated with a defendant or a case, any member of the same defence organisation with a common platform account will be able to access the case. If your firm stops representing the defendant for whatever reason, you must remove your firm from the record. This is also known as disassociating yourself from the case or defendant. Disassociating will send an automatic notification to the Crown Prosecution Service so that they are aware of the change. It will also allow another firm to associate with the case. If you have granted case access to any individuals, removing your firm will also remove their ability to access the case. Duty solicitors who are not representing their client after the hearing need to remove their access once the hearing is complete to allow another organisation or firm to associate and access the case. If you have taken the case on and will continue to represent the defendant, you do not need to do this. After you have associated with a case, any member of your organisation or firm with a common platform account will be able to access the full case details. Anyone in that organisation or firm can then grant case access to someone outside the firm, for example an agent or an outside chambers clerk. That person will, in turn, be able to grant access to instructed counsel or remove access if the case has to be returned. Go to the Access Full Case screen. You can give someone access by entering their email address in the box and clicking on Grant Access. If you have been granted case access by a defence organisation and they find they are no longer representing and remove their firm from the record, this will also remove your ability to access the case as their agent. In the Crown Court, you will still find case materials in the Digital Case System, or DCS, for both exhibit and common platform cases. Any materials for common platform cases will be copied across to DCS. In the Magistrates Court, once your firm is associated, anyone within the organisation or firm, or anyone who has been granted case access, will be able to view the full case details and case materials. You will be able to view case-level documents for cases you are associated with and specific defendant-level documents for defendants you are representing. For example, if you are representing one defendant involved in a case with multiple defendants, you'll be able to see the case-level documents and the defendant-level documents for your client. You will not be able to see the documents specific to other defendants in the case. If you're representing more than one defendant in a multi-hander case, you will need to associate with each individual defendant you're representing. Once you have accessed the relevant case, 
you can view case details and case materials and you can upload or download documents as required, such as the Preparing for Effective Trial or PET form. You can access case materials by clicking on the tab marked Case Material at the top of the screen. Documents and materials will be uploaded to this section by the Crown Prosecution Service, Defence and other users such as Probation. Only sections which contain case materials will appear in the list on the left-hand side. The number in brackets next to the section title shows you the number of documents in that section. A typical case will contain several sections with material in each. You can view the material by clicking on the section heading or the down arrow next to it. Each item in the section is time stamped with the date the document was received and uploaded. Click on the document link to preview it in the right hand panel. You can download it if you choose by clicking on the link. There are controls to aid viewing. For example, you can zoom into and out of the document or rotate it. In the Magistrates Court, for common platform cases, you serve material on the court by uploading it to common platform. You can serve it on the Crown Prosecution Service at the same time by ticking the Send to CPS checkbox. On the Case Material screen, click on the Add New Material button. Click on Browse, find and select the document you want to upload. Select the section where you want to place the document using the drop-down list. If you are representing more than one defendant in a case with multiple defendants, tick the box next to the appropriate defendant. This option will not appear if you're only representing one defendant or if it's a single defendant case. Give the material a descriptive name. Make this as detailed as it needs to be so others reviewing the case materials will understand what it is. If the material includes financial information about the defendant, tick the relevant box. This will make sure the material is only held as long as necessary to comply with data protection law. When you're uploading material to certain sections, such as case management, you will see the Send to CPS checkbox. If you tick this, you can serve the document on both the court and the Crown Prosecution Service at the same time. As you will see later, this should be done when you upload your completed PET form. The Crown Prosecution Service will receive the document attached to an email. Enter the date you receive the document and click on the Add Material button. You will see the message confirming that you've been successful and the material you have added will appear in the appropriate section. You will have restricted access to edit case documents in Common Platform, including the PET form. You will not be able to edit any documentation submitted by partner agencies, such as statements or exhibits. To edit a document, find and select the one you want to amend in Case Material. Make the required changes and save it to your device. Use the same document title but add the date when the document was amended. For example, Preparation for Effective Trial 080121. This will make sure everyone can see a clear history of the different versions of case materials. Upload the amended version of the document. You can serve the document on the Crown Prosecution Service at the same time by ticking the Send to CPS checkbox. Use Professional Check-in in both the Magistrates and the Crown Court. On the day you attend court, Professional Check-in records your name against the court record for legal aid agency payment purposes. It also informs other users, such as the judge, legal advisor or court clerk, that you're attending for the Common Platform case and that you're ready. Please note, professional check-in does not mean that you do not need to communicate with court ushers about your case. Before you attend the hearing, log in to Common Platform. On the Common Platform home screen, click on Check in to Hearings. Search for the courthouse where you're attending and click on Show Hearings. You can expand any courtrooms by clicking on the plus sign to see all the common platform hearings being held in that courtroom. Tick the hearings that you're checking in for, then click the Check In button. 
a message confirming your successful check-in will appear at the top of the screen. If you need help with registration, account and security setup, logging in or using Common Platform, please call or email the Common Platform Service Desk. The Service Desk is open Monday to Friday, 8am to 8pm and Saturday, 8am to 2pm. Any emails sent outside these times will be looked at on the next working day.